Help support the companies that support our community. I hope everybody's doing well. So last week we had a project planned and I got sick. I had a horrible head cold all week. I got out on Monday and didn't get over it until Saturday. And just when I was starting to feel a little bit better, Robin got it and so I don't want her out here in the shop with all the dust filming the project. So we will do that next week. But there was something I was gonna talk about last week in the video and I figured I would just do a quick video and explain that. So. I recently have done a, a lot of little boxes and urns with the, with the threaded rings. And so I did Jack's urn here uh, quite a while ago and the threads on it are absolutely perfect. It screws, unscrews, it's all, all nice and smooth. So a couple weeks later, I did another little lidded box and took it in the house and the next morning I got up and the, it was all sticky on the threads. And I thought, oh no, I got some some of the epoxy on the threads. So I was gonna work on that, get it all cleaned off. I took like a dental pick and started started picking it off of there, but I didn't get around to it. I still still haven't gotten around to it. I still need to clean that off. But the, uh, and then I did some small pill boxes and it's not the epoxy. What it is is on, and I went back and watched the video when I turned the urn for Jackson. So. I finished this. I put the walnut oil on and the pins plus on while it was on the lathe and I didn't wait till the end of it. I was just careful not to get it down in the recesses. It's the walnut oil. So like this one, I spent a long time with a uh, Q-tip and uh, alcohol cleaning the threads off. So if you're going to make an urn, lidded box or anything with these, don't put the walnut oil on afterwards. If you do, be super careful not to get it on the threads. It got caked in the threads. I had to, I'm like scrubbing on it, trying not to touch the wood with it, but that's what it is. So this one here, I, I, uh, I think I showed it in the video a couple weeks ago, but I didn't even epoxy these in. They were just a nice tight fit. I just popped them in. There's no epoxy on them and they're, and they're not coming out and it was still sticky. So that's when I realized what was going on. It's the walnut oil. It dries in those threads and makes it all sticky. So I cleaned it all up, but if you're gonna do it, I would just be careful, put the walnut oil on or whatever finish it is you're using, put that on while it's on the lathe. Just be careful, don't get it down in the recesses so the epoxy uh, you know, can stick to it. But that was it. It was, yeah, I was trying to figure, it was, I was puzzled, I was trying to, you know, think about, I didn't see any epoxy on the threads when I was putting them in, but that was it, it was a mess. All right, that was really it. I just wanted to let you know, don't, glue the inserts in and then soak it down with walnut oil because it's going to get all over the threads and be a pain to clean off. Yeah, and it doesn't come off easy. It dries in there. So yeah, not good. All right. Uh, we should be back to 100% next week and we'll have, we're going to take care of that project. All right. Hope everybody has a good weekend and take care. Bye.